So this is a look at a problem that I've recently come across. A friend was having problems with their three litre TDI engine. It effectively, it had just seized. So we're just trying to investigate the causes and the reasons for this engine seizing up. And it turns out there's a really stupid design on the part of Volkswagen in the engines. Now, it seemed to be a good idea. It seemed to save a bit of fuel, make the engine more efficient. But on these three litre TDI engines, it caused a catastrophic problem that just built up over time. I've not fully got to the bottom of the issue or the problem, so I'd be very grateful to hear your thoughts and feedback on this. So this was the EA897 engine, and it seems to affect engines that meet the Euro 6 emission standards. So basically, the Volkswagen Group wanted to make the engine more efficient to meet these stringent emission standards. They were just looking for ways of reducing the drain on the engine. Anything that drains the engine power is making the engine more inefficient, it's using more fuel. And one genius idea that they came up with was to use a variable flow oil pump. So in a conventional engine, the faster the engine's going, the faster the oil pump is running and the oil pressure and lubrication matches really the RPM of the engine. Now, what they've done is they've got a variable system that controls the pressure of the oil. Now, in these big three litre TDI engines, you have a very lazy tick over. If you've got an automatic, it's going to change gear fairly regularly. So effectively, you're driving around all the time at low RPMs. These engines deliver a phenomenal amount of torque and power. You don't need to rev them in order to extract the maximum amount of power. And that really is the problem. The engines have been designed with this variable flow of oil, and the engines are typically being used at fairly low RPMs throughout their life. So they are just not getting sufficient oil flow around the engine or sufficient lubrication, which is leading to these catastrophic engine problems. It doesn't seem to affect the earlier Euro 4 and Euro 5 emission standards engines. They had other problems unique to them. But it's just interesting that Volkswagen, and I'm sure they're not alone, I'm sure other manufacturers have also gone for these variable flow oil pumps. And if you've got one, you really do need to pay very careful attention to the oil that you're using to just make sure it stays within specification at these extreme operating conditions where the oil pressure is substantially lower than you'd ideally want it to be. I've seen people modifying the oil pumps and the oil pump flow system and adjusting the ECU to make sure the pressures are maintained at a higher level than the manufacturers intended. It'd be interesting to see what the Volkswagen Group actually do to iron out this problem. It's one of those things that didn't really manifest itself and until the miles started creeping up. But when you started seeing these large three litre TDI engines failing prematurely, you had to ask why. And when it was down to lubrication, obviously the first thing you would look at is the oil delivery system. And the big problem that they've had was this conversion to these variable flow oil systems. So it's just something to be aware of. If you're getting low pressure warning lights, be particularly aware of that as a problem. If you've got one of these engines with the variable oil pump flow rates, you really do need to make sure you drive it at a reasonable amount of RPM most of the time, just to make sure the pressure is up and the engine is getting sufficiently lubricated. So thanks for watching. I just hope that I flagged up a potential problem that you can watch out for. And if you've got any other feedback on this issue, I'd be very grateful to hear from you. So I know a lot of you out there have got a lot more experience with these three litre TDI engines than I have. So please help us out, help out a friend. And if there's a way of mitigating this problem that you found or discovered, let me know what that is in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please boot the like button. That really does help us to get out. And I've lined this video up for you that you should find really interesting. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd hate you to miss out. Stay tuned.